The maintenance procedure for the Vibro Model 320 and the Model 450 are identical. For this demonstration, we are servicing the Model 450 unit. To begin, we remove the cap screws located along the top surface of the transporter using a 5-32nd inch Allen wrench. For Model 320 units, use a 1-8 inch Allen wrench. Be sure to remove the cap screws only from the unit end with the adjusting screw. Remove the top and end plate from the unit. Inspect for wear. Remove the free end with the adjusting rod. Next, remove the pistons. Apply only a small amount of air pressure. Otherwise, the pistons will fire out too rapidly and may become damaged. Inspect the bore opening for excess wear. Clean using only a clean cotton cloth and take care not to scratch the surface. Now remove the two mufflers using a 9 16th inch socket for model 450s. Use a 7 16th inch socket to remove the muffler on the model 320. Inspect and clean. Using a 1 inch wrench, remove the cap. Take care not to loosen the gasket. Using a magnetic screwdriver, remove the poppet valve. Inspect and clean. Next, remove the valve seat with the aid of the vibro extraction pick or similar hooked implement. Press the vibro bearing extractor into the bearing opening until the bearing is engaged, making a snap sound. Insert a tap bar through the opposite rail opening. Be sure the tap bar engages to the extractor in such a way as to not break off the extractor's fingers. Tap the bar until the bearing is completely removed. Here you can see how the vibro bearing extractor seats itself on the tapered rod. Now remove the foot using an Allen wrench, impact driver, or socket device. The unit is now ready for cleaning with a clean cotton cloth. Take care not to scratch the base surface of the unit or the foot. Reinstall the foot to the unit. Take care to align the foot properly. The openings in the unit body must line up with the mill slots on the foot. Then reinstall the screws. When doing so, take care not to slide the foot across the unit, causing surface scratches. Be sure to screw down one side of the foot first. Be sure the cap screws are tight. This will ensure that there are no pressure leaks. Now, to reinstall the bearings, look for the tapered edge. Add a small amount of lightweight oil to the bearing to ease the reinstallation process. Place the vibro bearing punch or similar shaped bolt against the bearing. Drive it home until it is flush with the seat. Remove excess shavings. Repeat this process to reseat all four bearings. Now install the valve seat and the poppet valve. Make certain that the poppet valve stem is down when placed into the opening. Using a small screwdriver, ensure that the poppet valve is seated correctly. With the gasket in place, replace the cap. 
Prior to installation of the mufflers, be sure to clean them with solvent and blow out the exhaust ports using compressed air. Next, clean and inspect the pistons. Install new O-rings if necessary. Surface scratches can be removed with a Scotch-Brite pad and light sanding. Be careful not to Scotch-Brite the O-ring or the O-ring seat, as this would undermine the piston seal capacity. A drill press can also be used to speed the cleanup process. Add a small amount of lightweight oil to the piston and bore opening to ease with the reinstallation process. Then, reinstall the piston. Then, reinstall the solid piston on the opposite side. Now, install the carriage rails. Lubricate the rails and the bearing openings before reinstallation. Replace the end plate and reinstall the four cap screws. Be sure to place the two longest screws in the outside openings. The two shorter screws are inserted in the inside openings. The longer outside screws provide for single tray attachment. See the owner's manual for single tray attachment. For startup, be sure that the adjustment screw protrudes 3 sixteenths of an inch beyond the end plate. Finally, conduct a bench check by adding air to the unit. To do so, first attach an air regulator with a filter to the unit. This will ensure that dirt is not reintroduced into the unit. The bench check ensures that the maintenance procedure has been performed properly before returning the unit to full operation. Note, be sure that all vibro transporters are fed by an airline equipped with a filter regulator and lubricator. Also, be sure all models are securely fastened to a sturdy base for good scrap removal.